this is the Prototrack SMX control on the track CNC milling machines. Uh, this control is specifically made for machinists, so you don't have to worry about knowing how to program. You'll never see a G-code as long as you work with it. And because these uh, track machines are made to be used both manually and as a CNC, uh, this control you can use as a digital readout system, just a glorified DRO, or of course to program uh, in with its CAD CAM software that it has built in. So you don't have to worry about offline software, it has everything in the control that you see here. And these milling machines have full size hand wheels and quill control, so you have full manual um, abilities with this machine. And so we'll take a look at that digital readout function first. And when you're in the digital readout mode, you'll be able to jog each of the three axes around to your heart's content, you can do a power feed. So the same way as you would put a power feed unit on a manual milling machine, you can use it the same way here, except here you can use it on the X, you can use it on the Y, you can use it on the Z, you can use it in a combination of all three. So you don't have to do one at a time, you can do all three at the same time if you want to. That's the great thing about these CNC machines. Do one means now um, I can drill or bore a hole, I can do a bolt hole, I can mill a line, I can make an arc, I can do a pocket, I can do a profile, I can do a helix. Cut like that, thread milling, both inside and outside threads, and tap. This is all within the digital readout uh, mode, so I don't have to get out of this to go into the programming mode to do one of those. I can just do a bolt hole pattern very quickly radius, how many holes, where's my first hole, go, and the machine does it for me, takes me back to the digital readout mode. And uh, go to, another neat little feature here, so for instance on the x-axis, say I want to move to uh, 2 point, uh, x-axis 2.457 for instance. So what I do is I crank my hand wheel, and when I hit 2.457, it won't let me go any farther. So even my manual moves, I'm still rotating my hand wheel, but it won't let me go past 2.457. I can back up if I want to, but once I hit that point, it won't let me go any farther. So even your manual moves are that much quicker to do on this kind of a machine. So hit return, go back to the regular working mode. Uh, I can teach this control off of a part that I might get from a customer. I don't have a blueprint, for instance, but he gives me a part, and he says, make me another one like this. Okay, great. I put it in my uh, fixture on the table, I touch off uh, the different points that I want to remember through this teach mode, and then I'll go in and fill in the blanks uh, in the programming section. So that's what the teach does here in the digital readout mode. Return to absolute zero, just the way it sounds. Press that, press go, and next thing you know, you're back at zero. Spindle speed, you just want to punch in a spindle speed, whatever RPM it is that you want to use and the tool number. So if you program in the various tools that you'll be using, all you have to do is you say, I want to go to tool number two, and the control will immediately compensate for the different size of that tool, uh, so you don't have to touch off and re-zero whenever you switch tools. So that's the digital readout mode when it comes to the ProTrack SMX control.